All right. Here we go. Me building a log arch out of a trailer we already had set up for hauling pipe or logs or whatever, but just wasn't very handy to pull pull the logs up on the trailer. So um, I fabricated an arch and put a winch on it to, to help alleviate the lifting and the strain that comes with trying to haul some logs down to the sawmill we got. So all right, so here's what we started with, trailer. I mean, it's a good start, good trailer. Just needed uh, some a better way to get these logs up there. So this is what we came up with. All right, starting to get a plan together. This is what it's looking like. It's a little crude, but it'll get there. Okay, we just welded that up. That, I might be able to put a pipe through here and make a roller out of it. And then this is for my log arch. Anyway. Let's see how this works out. I got another one mocked up. Put over here on this side. The hole drill. This is kind of what it <coughs> looks like. Washer nut. Drilled the hole, threaded it. This is actually a Ford Super Duty tow ring. <coughs> and I got it spaced out where it just fits in there. I'll line up with that hole, put that bolt in. And we're going to make a log arch out of that pipe. And I think I got another pipe over there somewhere. Alright, so we got this pipe bolted through. Grade 8, 5 8 bolts. Just a nice pivot point. And do the same thing over here. And a momento. This is the drilling process. Maybe laid across here. Drill a hole. Alright, so. In this picture, I show the pivot point at the back of the trailer. I'm gonna move that pivot point closer to the tires. It actually works way better than on the end of the trailer. And I'm gonna take that little crane, that yellow crane, you're gonna see me take that off later. I, I didn't like the way it worked out, so. <laughs> Here we go. Deck on it, nice slick deck. Logs will slide. Okay. Nice. All right. Two uprights. Now we got to make the header beam. All right, we got some angles cut in this thing. It's gonna be our header. I gotta straighten this little deal here, but. Okay, as you can see, I put another little bend in it and I'm not gonna use that header. I'm just gonna, it ended up being too tall. So I'll shorten it down and just, and I got another piece of pipe in there reinforcing that joint, splicing it. I'm just using what I got, trying to keep it cheap. I'm not going to go out and buy a bunch of metal. I'm going to use what I got. All right, see how it goes next.
All right, so we cut a hole, shoved that through. Now I'm welding that hook in. And these are probably still hot, but I took these out. We're gonna stick these in here so I got places to hook on both sides. Anyway, we're just welding it in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, now I'm starting to fabricate the winch cradle receiver thingy. <laughs> anyway, it's gonna go in the front of the trailer. And uh, just sorry I missed filming a bunch of this, so. Um, captured what I got. I'm gone.
All right. I missed a lot of the fabrication in between there uh, with that receiver winch cradle holder. But uh, anyway, All we'll right. keep going. I went a little too far without the camera being on. But anyway, we got a receiver mount. We got the cradle painted. Winch in. Kind of a headboard started here. Getting that going. Starting to wire this thing up. Tighten up the controller box. Ah, <sighs> getting a little ways with it. Alright, we gotta do some battery trays now so we can pack some batteries with us. I'll hold three group 65 batteries if I want. Okay. Well, you notice this is where. I moved the pivot point to the arch um, closer to the tires and the axle and I believe it works a lot better and the reason it works better is it's not so much weight clear at the back of the trailer and it will load the log farther up into the center of the trailer you'll see in later videos how it helps Okay, notice that I fabricated the, or welded those jacks on the back. That helps stabilize the trailer when you're loading logs. Works really well. This is scary though when it falls forward. <laughs> These two jacks at the back of the trailer are way overkill. They're way heavier than they need. Sorry I skipped way ahead, but I've got the deck on and I'm sealing it up with linseed oil and sprayed it on yeah, with a uh, weed spray sprayer. It on the deck and see how it comes out. Doesn't spray linseed oil very well, but we're getting it. Yeah, it'll work. All right. Well, that's how it came out. It's going to soak in and just help. preserve it anyway I think it looks pretty cool all right tried it out it works wonderful and I'll capture some more videos of that um, meantime hauling them back to the sawmill to have some fun thanks for watching